Uh, thank you so much, uh, members of the Fourth Estate. Uh, mine is uh, to thank the president for the bold move he has taken by putting his differences with the opposition leaders aside and uh, bringing them into government. The margin between the ruling party and the opposition was a, a, a very small number of 200,000. So bringing them uh, in government ensures that most of the voters uh, in the previous general election uh, ha ha have seen their leaders in government. So I want to thank him for putting his differences aside. Indeed, uh, seeing the likes of Hassan Joho uh, being you know, uh, nominated as cabinet secretaries has made me feel like since independence, the county that I come from, I hail from, my ancestors are from Wajia County, they have never held any ministerial position. So I feel like uh, in, after 2027, when the president gets re-elected, I feel like I might even have a chance to be in that government because uh, we have seen uh, the president being, uh, you know, uh, being open-minded. Yeah. So meanwhile, um, we have seen the former cabinet secretary for roads and transport, uh, uh, one honest mask, Chumba Murkomen, who, who has uh, given his apology to young people. We want to welcome his apology. We want to welcome his apology because he is a human. And as they said, luxury does not equate to development. And I'm sure uh, uh, having, uh, having, you know, been in a position of uh, transport and roads, youth and sports is uh, something small to him. He's a he has been a legislator, he's a lawyer, and uh, he understands how to, you know, uh, work with the young people. So Gen Z's, we have complained, hey, Murkom in this, Murkom in that. And right now, the president has told us, Aya, ah, yeah, Sawa, mume, mume pika kelele sana about Kipchumba, ndo huyu. Shikeni yeye, na muka, muende mkapambane na ye, na yeye. Kwa hiyo, tunataka kusema Kipchumba, we are welcoming you. Uh, we also know that you will do a good job. Um, we are looking forward that you will continue with the legacy of Ababu Namwamba, who has done extremely a good job uh, before you in that uh, same position. And uh, lastly, uh, yes. So to cut you short, yes. yes. This is a very concerned question that people have been really asking. Eh? Yes. About Kitumba uh, Moko. Yes. Uh, we saw when he was being interviewed by Abau Bina. Yeah. Um, Bina, Bina's show. Yeah. Uh, people really complained eh, uh -huh. about uh, his lifestyle, about the belt, the watches that he bought. But now here is in the, now he has been appointed to be the CS of the of the sports yes. and culture. Uh -huh. Do you think uh, also people have been raising concerns uh -huh. and compliments about that that uh, probably maybe he might as well misuse uh, money in that particular sector to buy expensive uh, clothing? Do you think? Uh, uh, really, I mean, do you think? Can happen to him as well uh, again on, on, on that process. So, on the same point of opulence mm. and uh, young people complaining about uh, the love for luxury, yes. yeah, yeah, Waziri OKM, um, let me be honest with you, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you can only you, ca you cannot have the moral yardstick to measure your love for luxury until you have money. You understand? So, most people who have been bitter or complaining about how he dresses and uh, how he's wearing expensive stuff uh, I, is, 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 a, is an indication that this person has not had the chance. So we, we are not sure if you get money you will act worse than Kipchumba. Yeah? So as I said, his, luxury, his love for luxury will not equate to development. Mm -hmm. It has not stopped Kipchumba. Uh, 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 working for uh, at, at the Ministry of Roads and Transport, it has not stopped Kipchumba from becoming a senator and delivering to the people of El Gayo Maraquet. So, as you can see, even me, I'm wearing Gucci here. You understand? We all <laughs> love luxury. Yeah? If you would have seen me yesterday, my hands was full of gold and all that. It's not because I'm rich. 
Mm. But the little that you you get, mm. sometimes ni vizuri kufurahisha roho yako kwa sababu until when we utajinyima, we are not sure of tomorrow. You can me, even die tomorrow. Yeah, let me challenge you. Uh, we we had an incident uh, last mandamana ya baba when watu walichoma pale expressway. Yeah. And then he went and uh, did a, a survey wa kasema ni 200 million uh -huh. that will be used there to replace those things and many other things. Yes. I mean, and what we saw uh, from the, the results, what we saw was different. Uh -huh. Do you think uh, among the things that you want to complain about is that the money that you can use to charge is to make a caravan or a caravan or a caravan? Yeah. Do you think it's going to be a size of money? Apana, I don't think because this this is someone who has been a senator for two terms. Yeah, if, if it is about money and uh, making deals and uh, making businesses, he has been in a position to you know access directly. He was a majority leader of the Senate for that information. So my my issue here is maybe. You, as you, you have seen the report, uh, there was there was not enough money to do maintenance, and that is why they wanted to add levy and all that. So I I, I, I don't think that uh, it's only right now. Um, and and I mind you, this has started before even Gen Z movement. Mm -hmm. Murkomen has been on the spot mm -hmm. because there are so many. It even triggered me personally. Mm -hmm. I liked him when he was in the Senate. He was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. It triggered me because I was like, I am a. It is our money that is whatever. So, but me 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 ni me Rudi Nyuma ni kasema ebuleme. It, he has been on the spot because Kipchumba has totally refused to work with the cartels. Kipchumba. Yes. So these cartels have put him on the spot even before Gen Z movement have started. So this is now an issue of Kipchumba. My issue would have been um, those members of parliament and people of the, uh, I mean those those uh, leaders in the public offices who have been displaying money on their tables, who have you know have been driving. Um, luxurious cars, cars and all that yeah mm. so th these are people who need lessons on etiquette on mm. how to act when mm. in office but Kipchumba honestly he was in a mkutano mm. uh, if you wear a watch today you will see my watch okay mm. so mtu ameona watch yake but how many other leaders have the same or exact or much more expensive watches than Kipchumba so it should not be an issue of uh, one person yeah mm. the people who need etiquette are those who are displaying money where are they getting all this money from you get mm -hmm. you get mm -hmm. but Kipchumba if he buys a watch of 900,000, maybe he's an owner of a house, he doesn't pay rent. His, his salary, he, he, and as I say, he will let me save for two months, for 500,000, 500,000, you know, watch a one million, because I'm going to be As I told you before, it's about a matter of the heart sometimes. Mm. It's not all about a tiwkona pesa mingi. Mm. So these are things that he can afford through his salary. So. Wow. Thank, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. And lastly, I want to uh, applaud the president for not succumbing to our pressure. I, I have been in the forefront of fighting for Gen Z. Um, after finance bill went down, I was like, no, I'm not going to allow my country to go into ashes disaster. and disaster mm. and you know mm. anarchy. We are going to support the president in this process and we have seen progress. He has dissolved the cabinet, he has brought in opposition, he is willing to bring in more people. Mm. But moving forward to Naomba, Position a yeah, National Youth Council, you work with uh, a young person. Onona, as we can see right now, Mutu Monya Kokoyo position a National Youth Council, and by is in Bunge, ongoing, see Mutu and by any of age a youth. So Gen Z, work on a position, work on a advantage. Raise to Naomba, I bring more Gen Z in the government so that we can equally represent our young people. And lastly, for bringing in. Uh, people who have done development, who have ensured that their uh, department and ministry have, have done a good job, like uh, Professor Kithuri Kindiki, he's a presidential material, he's, he made sure there was no terror attack in the northern, uh, in Lamu, he had made order, um, bandits, he has been dealing with them every day. So we have seen a lot of progress that uh, uh, Professor Kithuri Kindiki has done in the uh, previous uh, 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 yeah, years since he came into government, and the uh, pre uh, president has seen who you jama amefanya kazi. Watu tumrudishe, 
in as much as there was a lot of pressure around, I don't think Prof, uh, Prof and the, the people who has come back to, uh, who have been brought back to government, are people who, has, who have performed poorly. So let us give the president and dialogue and national unity a chance. And uh, we ask the president to ensure that the, peop the families who have lost their loved ones during this time of protest have been compensated. Sindio, asante ni sana. Appreciate it.